provisional title for the show is Saints Alive. I'm not sure if I'll stick with that. So that's kind of what I'm interested in, is kind of the, making the Saints come alive, basically. Which, which painting is this taken from? Again, I can't remember. That's the Chima. That's the Chima, yeah. So, so literally, like, that's, well, that's all the Chima. That's his arm, oh, that's his is, chest. Yes. So it's kind of like you find these parts in the scrapyard, and all these wheels are going to be um, kind of 60s and 70s kind of era wheels. So it's a kind of, um, Wonderful. yeah, it's a kind of clinky clanky kind of sculpture. So I've started, this is all Saint Jerome. So I've He's been... essentially abstracting bits of different very important paintings. He's pulling them all together, animating them in three dimensions, monumentalizing them. So something that was sort of teeny tiny, he's suddenly blowing up times 10. Um, and I think it's going to make people feel and in a whole new way. So I think what he's doing in his own project is um, pulling people into the paintings and getting them to ask very important questions about the paintings. We're going to go to MDM um, in Herne Hill, who basically fabricate kind of sculptures and all sorts of things for artists. So we're going to go and visit them and, um, and see how far they've got with uh, the St. Jerome sculpture. Just to kind of give me an idea of what it's gonna, what it's gonna look like, and um, and the kind of fin finishing touches we have to, we have to give it. Well, it's just much, it's much bigger than um, than I imagined. But um, Nigel, over to you. It's the size you drew it. <laughs> oh, I know that. Drawing them on little bits of paper and then actually obviously seeing it in real life is completely. Well, that's Different. the reason for doing the full-size yeah. um, mock-up. Yeah. Effectively, we put it in here. Coming down and yeah. striking the chest with the rock here. Yeah, be about there. So if it's the butt end, isn't it? The butt end of the rock yeah. will hit the chest. I didn't discuss with you um, about are we going to cast the whole thing and then break, make that kind of incision? Are we going to? We'll and cast, then we'll cast because the back of the back it is actually going to have wheel. You'll be able to see the wheels and the kind of working mechanism in the back. We'll go beyond this broken line. Yeah. Um, we'll probably cast the whole thing. Yeah, I think that's sensible. And then, and then you we can do it. Choose where you want yeah. to smash it away, break it off. Yeah. Yeah, I think we should do that, yeah. So yeah, we went to a Sunbury market yesterday, Antiques market yesterday. I got, I was there at half past six in the morning and um, to buy wheels, but the only problem with wheels is they're normally attached to other things. We might keep parts of some of the, um, of the mechanism, but, um, but it's predominantly we're looking for wheels. Next, we continue the ongoing search for bits and pieces, components, and uh, mechanical things from various places. That's ongoing. Um, the sculpted elements, as you saw upstairs, the sculpting elements will be finished probably next week, and then they'll start to be cast out in different materials, and then painted. And the construction of the mechanism itself will start next week as well. We should have enough of this stuff by then to begin. Um, and it will slowly come together. The cast elements will be out the following week and then we can start actually assembling it in three dimensions. Yeah. That'll be great.